Hey everybody, it's Haley. I am back with another packing video. Today we're going to be talking about which is the best bag to use for a personal item when you're flying on a budget airline like Frontier or Spirit, or maybe you just like to pack light. We're going to figure that out today. First of all, thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And you can also follow over here on social media as well. Now, if you're looking for the best packing hacks and tricks, I have two other packing videos for personal size bags that you can check out. I'll throw the cards up here. Um, but this video is more so going to be about the bag. I'm going to pull out some items of mine. Obviously, I'm a plus size girl, so my stuff takes up more room so you can kind of get an idea of how much we can really put in these bags and go over the features of each bag, discussing what I like, what I don't like, and what I recommend. All the links are going to be down here in the description. So there's a variety of ways that you can save space in your bag. Some people like to use the vacuum bag. Some people like to use cubes. I'm actually going to be doing a whole separate video on bags versus cubes versus compression cubes so do not forget to subscribe and check that out for packing purposes today i was trying to pack for close to a week ish type of trip now let's talk about some things that can save you space i do have a small toiletry bag that i'm going to use today that has like my skincare it has shampoo and conditioner. Um, it's an average size one. It fits the TSA regulations. This container is going to be down there as well. Um, but a lot of the times what I do when I'm really trying to conserve space and I'm doing like a frontier flight is I will get those small little containers. You can get them on Amazon. I'll link one down below. You can get them at Dollar Tree sometimes. And I will transfer some of my items to there so that I'm not taking up as much space so that it fits in a smaller bag. I think I've got one around here somewhere. Yeah, so it could fit something in, in something even smaller, even just a sandwich bag. Um, just that I have more space. Now, obviously I'm a plus size lady. My clothes take up a bit more. So I try to grab a variety of things because I know that I've had some men that pop into the comments section. They're like, oh, girls can just pack sundresses and it's easier. And yes, it is. But to be fair and throw it all out there, I have two pairs of shorts. I have a pair of pants. I have three dresses. One is full length. One is a high low. So it's full length in the back, short in the front. One is short. I have three shirts, two bodysuits that double as an outfit, maybe with a, a cardigan or a button up, or you could wear them with shorts as a shirt. Um, we have one swimsuit. I have a pair of beach flip flops, a regular pair of sandals, a pair of flats. I always wear sneakers because they're bulkier. Um, so take that to the airport and a little hack. I know this is naughty is I will get a small, small crossbody. We're talking going to use this for an example. Um, this is one of my daughter's Louis Vuitton bags. Um, something small just like this. And I'll wear like a sweatshirt or something to the airport and I just kind of pop it underneath and that's where I keep my ID, um, cash, um, sometimes little makeup items like a lip gloss, a mascara, or whatnot. And I will just kind of hide it under a sweatshirt and call it a day. Today's bags are gonna range anywhere from about $12 upwards towards $90. So there's going to be a price point for everybody, but you just need to decide what is the best fit for you. You also need to decide what's important to you. Like today, you're not gonna see my hairbrush in here. I have a mini, sometimes I order one ahead, um, or I shove that in a small purse that I shove under my sweatshirt. We'll talk about that later. Um, and then sometimes I also order ahead my toiletries and whatnot to just free up more space in these bags. So there's different ways to do it, um, depending on your clothes and whatnot, but let's get started. So the first bag we're going to talk about today is the Protégé bag. This bag's from Walmart, actually, and it comes in at a price of about $49.99, if I remember correctly. Let me double check my sheet here. Yep, $49.88 discount. Um, I like this bag. So the measurement is actually 16 by 14 by eight. Frontier is 14 by 18 by eight. And so is Spirit. So I've had this bag for about four or five years. Um, I actually really enjoy it. Um, it was not gifted to me. It was just something I purchased when I started flying those quick little um, cheap Frontier flights down to Florida. It has some great zippers and pockets here on the inside. This is what it looks like. It's got pockets on each side as well. It is a roller or you could carry it by hand if you wanted, but it does have that roller option. So 
My tips for packing in this bag, because there are the metal bars here at the bottom, is I like to take rolled up underwear and use that space. A lot of people just kind of pack and pile on top of that and you're losing some real estate in your bag. So let's try to pack this up. All right, she's packed up. Let's measure her to make sure she is still in compliance because a big situation that people run into when they're flying on Spirit or Frontier is they will get the bags that are the right size, but then they just stuff them to the brim. So let's double check our measurements and measure this out. All right. So keep in mind, you can have a little push getting that in like this could squeeze in just a bit. And we are at about eight and a half inches without squeezing it right now. So we could easily get that half inch in going that way. Let's check going across. Going across, we are still fine at 17 and 14. So um, great bag choice. Now one way you can save space in here, if you guys notice while I packed this, is I did pack my toiletry bag. Now, Usually when I am flying on an economy airline, I will go get the smaller versions, use a smaller bag, tuck it in so that it's not as bulky and taking up as much space. And then when I get to a destination, I will also order via Instacart, have some stuff sent from Amazon to take up light, um, some less space. So if you need to pack a little bit more, um, consider sending your toiletries or downsizing them. I just don't have a need to downsize them and I don't want to put product in different containers right now. But I mean, this fit all those clothes, the swimsuit went in and three pairs of shoes. I always recommend wearing your bulky shoes to the airport. But yeah, so big fan of this one. Let's go on to the next bag. All right, next up, we have the handfuls, handfuls, Extra large travel backpack, it measures eight inches by 12.2 by 17.32. This also comes with two small little plastic packing cubes similar to this. Now, one of the things that I would like to draw attention to on the travel backpacks, I have a couple great ones that I've used a few times. Underseat Pro is a great one. I've had that in another video. Um, I had the Mother Loader TLS bag. That's a really good one. I have a bag that's similar to this. The one downside to these bags is because they have like the lap, the laptop sleeves that have the little thick cushioning so you know your laptop doesn't get damaged, takes away from the actual packing piece of clothing. So like if you're a plus size person that doesn't like to repeat a lot of outfits or you're trying to go for a week, it's just it's not going to be the best fit. But we're going to try to pack everything in, see what we can get and go from there. Yeah, so as you can see, we are going to end up stretching this bag. In a bag like this, I'll usually take like the underwear and kind of go along the rims. But I mean, this bag is already almost at capacity. Um, sometimes if you don't think it's fitting, it's a good idea to zip up and kind of see what space you actually do have left. I'm going to try to get the underwear lined up down the side here. I mean, I kind of just feel like I was grasping at straws here. So we said that this bag originally measured 8 by 12 by 17, roughly. And I think, yeah, going this way already, it's over 9 inches. We're still okay on length, but it's definitely puffed out and it's just at 16. So this is a bag that if you are smaller, thinner, on the skinnier side, this could definitely work for you. Um, I think I would actually recommend the version that I had because as I look at this, like, I mean, there's still some air and some room in here. The seams on this bag are already pulling. I'm going to put a picture right here. Um, 
So I don't think that says a whole lot for quality. I'm going to drop a link to the other backpack that's like this that I have. Um, and the thing I like about that other backpack is that it has the screen netting so you can kind of section off your clothes even without packing cubes. Um, it's sad. I really wanted to like this one. Um, but I just feel like if you're trying to maximize space, like I got more stuff in the protege bag that's smaller than I was able to in this bag. I think with the laptop, the extra zippers and compartments, it just takes away from the space from this bag. So I'll give you a little tour of this bag as I am unpacking it. If it is one that does pique your interest, it does have some great zippers and compartments here. Um, if you are smaller, one of the nice things is it does have that kind of luggage elastic in here where you can clip your stuff down. Um, just for me, I think there's much better bags for you to use, um, where you could be a lot more efficient, especially if you're packing this as your only bag. So there's the inside. There's the back laptop. It does have a really nice cushion on the back, and there is a little zipper compartment back here. Um, I think this would be a great travel backpack if you were just looking to bring that as like a carry-on with maybe a small roller, um, or if you don't, you don't need to pack a whole lot, you just want to pack a spare outfit and your electronics with you. I think this bag could be good for that. Um, but the other version that I have because I don't, like I said, the quality on the zipper seams here, I'm not the biggest fan of, um, could definitely work. It's just not, I don't think it's the best option for like frontier spirit. And this bag on Amazon was priced at $39.99 when I last bought it. So there's your price point. Do you like to save money on travel? Don't forget to grab my free ultimate travel savings guide. It is linked below. It's going to show you how to save money on airfare, hotels, cruises, attractions, you name it. And it is completely free. So start saving more money so you can travel more. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about, I've done on this channel before is under seat pro they gifted me some bags last time but i had to include them in here um because i do really love their products like we still use the backpack and stuff pretty frequently i think the spacing this is great so this is the roller and the great thing about this bag as well is that it's collapsible so these side pieces are flexible they will go down and this can fold almost completely flat for storage so if you are very short on storage this is a great bag um, the dimensions for this one are 18 by 14 by 8. it does come with a little carry-on toiletry item it comes with luggage tags they just sent me a new one actually so thank you it has the straps kind of like the backpack did it does have those bars so here's what the inside looks like there's a small zipper here big zipper there small zipper up top it has two small zippers on the inside here and a big one here um, you can unzip and get to the back if you need to um, these bags are really great and it's from a small business so if they're ever out of stock on amazon have some patience they're not a big conglomerate um, but they're made here in the U.S. They're really great. So let's see what we can fit in here. All right, here she is. Let's measure. Yep, still at our eight inches, even with it puffed just a little. And keep in mind, we'll squeeze in here. Let's check the across. Yep, 18. And let's check our top to bottom. 14. So yeah, another great one. One of the neat things about this bag is even if you're not trying to conserve space um, and you want to bring this as a carry-on for maybe one of your kids, it does have the sleeve back here, so it slides over the bars of another suitcase or a bigger suitcase that you might have checked. So here's the bar. It has a top handle, has a zipper in the front. You can easily slide a tablet in here, but um, great bag option. 
All right, so next we have the Wand F Travel Duffel. This is the cheapest bag on this list. This is a this was $11.99 at the time that I bought it. Um, it measures 17 inches by 12.6 by 6.3. Um, it is a soft side. Now, I've said this before. We need to be careful with the soft side luggage because it is very, very easy to stuff it. And that's where you see those crazy videos at the airport of people getting charged for their bags because they don't go down without a hassle to push down. Um, these can get you in trouble, but I mean, for 12 bucks, let's see what it can do. All right, she's done. I'm not gonna lie. I was pleasantly surprised by this bag, but of course we've got a measure. All right, we're still 18 inches this way and it has some room, okay. Let's see here. Definitely good this way, eight inches. I'd say it's closer to seven and a half because I don't have it fully packed. And then let's check our top. Definitely well under 14 inches. So honestly, I'm really impressed. Um, there's definitely a little extra room in here where you can shove some cords and whatnot. Um, I like that this pocket right here can be slid over a roller if you're not doing the whole trying to cram everything into a personal size bag little zipper right here. I mean, it's not fancy. It doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles. It has the handle here and of course an adjustable shoulder strap. So if you have a back problem, you might not want this, but for $12, this is, yeah, I'm really, really impressed. I can't even just keep, I'm surprised. I was a little nervous. I'm still surprised. So yeah, let's do another bag. All right, let's talk American Tourister. This is a very, very popular roller, very popular brand. Um, the dimensions on this one are 18 by 14 by eight. This is on sale as of today for 57.60, but some of the bags at full price can be about $85, $99. Um, so typically with American Tourister, you're going to get a more solid bag versus some of these softer bags that are a little cheaper, something that's going to last a little bit longer. So, you know, that might come into play in your decision making. So let's take a look at this bag. <laughs> It has a nice pocket up here. We still have the papers in here because, you know, I didn't want to try to pre-plan on these bags. I wanted to pack on the fly part of me. Um, nice pocket here in the front. Nice handles at the top. The zippers are extremely sturdy. These are very, very sturdy slippers. So here's the inside. I like that it has a big pocket up here. That's great for like underwear, socks, etc. cetera. Um, you know, I always just kind of cram socks in at the last minute wherever I can fit them. Um, but I'm usually in sandals when I'm going somewhere warm, so I'm not worrying about that as much. A nice strap in here. This is a roller, so we've got a handle with a zipper back here. One of the nice things is that the zipper does get covered, or sorry, the handle does get covered, so you don't have to worry about it catching on things. There is the full extension. I mean, it's pretty light too. It looks a little heftier, but it's lighter than I expected. And then there is a strap in the back here for if you want to slide it over on a bigger roller. All right, you know what we got to do. We got to pack it. All right, so overall, Nice pack. Zipping was a little tight at the end. I do have a gap up here where you can shove charger socks. Um, I'll kind of try to give you a little sneak peek. Um, I have a nice little gap in there where you could fit some smaller items. Um, I was really overall pleasantly surprised with how nicely it packed. Um, these are super, super stiff. It's a little annoying keeping everything pop back but it's also new and i'm assuming when you break it in a little bit more that you're not going to have that problem 
but of course we need to measure let's see how she's doing from this front zipper to the back so right now this is popping at nine um i could say no it's probably a little closer to eight and a half okay so it, it, it could be passable um maybe if i pack it just a little differently across we're looking at showing about 14 and a half so this would have to get squished a little bit um and of course let me double check from the top top we're still good too so um i think if you're going to do a situation where you're going to send your toiletries um i mean if you're a smaller person you'll pack in this great but um, if you want to pack a few more clothes and Instacart your toiletries, send them via Amazon. This is a good bag if you're looking to do these flights over and over and over again. And you want to buy a quality piece of luggage. I mean, it is extremely sturdy. It packs nice. Um, I would give my seal of approval on this bag too. But I think compared to the under seat pro I might say under seat pro a little bit more because it's collapsible for storage but this is a really good bag though all right last but certainly not least we have the it is from the wand f shop again this is another foldable duffel so this duffel actually ends up folding up in here in this little compartment it is a great space saver if you're looking to not have bags take up a bunch more space and this one is coming in at $16.99 available in a variety of colors like most of these bags are so let's take the pillow out because I propped it for pictures <laughs> um, and let's see what we can pack in it I mean I was really surprised pleasantly by the other bag um, I feel like this fabric's a little heavier duty than the other, but let's see what we can do. Alrighty, so we've got a shoulder strap here. It has handles as well. Let's pop that in. Let's measure her up. Let's see what we're working with here. All right. So there's a lot of space left in this bag, first off. Um, we definitely come in just a hair under eight inches if I'm really pushing it in. I would say closer to seven and a half, seven and a quarter. Um, let's see here for height. We are at 13 and a half inches. Um, and let's do our width here. I'd say it's coming in at 18 and a half, but I think based on the way it slides in, because there's still so much space left in this bag um, that you shouldn't have an issue. Honestly, I'm really, really pleasantly surprised. I think if you don't have the money to spend on the Underseat Pro or the American Tourister, um, these, are, these are really good bags, especially if you don't have to worry about back pain, neck pain from carrying a bunch of weight on your shoulder. Um, really, really impressed by this bag for 17 bucks and its partner bag for 12 bucks. Impressed. All right, so we went through a lot of bags today. Um, I honestly think the only bag that I wouldn't recommend would be this one based on quality and... I'm not trying to make it sound like a bad bag. Like this is an okay bag. Like if you are either super thin or you're okay mixing up a few more outfits and reusing outfits because it is great if you are somebody that needs to travel with a laptop, a tablet, um, quite a bit of space. But I just think the space is more efficiently used in these other bags. I personally tend to lead a bit more hard sided because then you don't accidentally overstretch as much as you do with a soft side bag. But um, 
these two are great this one from walmart's great let me know in the comment section which bag is your favorite and which bag you would be interested in i'm curious to see and i hope that you enjoyed this video make sure you stay tuned for my other packing and travel videos i have some fun trips coming up so i will see you on the next one thanks for watching